Hey everyone, this is Black Legacy, and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, you may have noticed that the channel has slowed down content recently, and this is because of some priorities in real life, hardware issues that have been getting worse, and overall, the slowdown of NWO development. If you want to know more, I'll add some details in the description. But for now, let's get to the meat of the video, which is the Dervish. By the way, this video has been made possible by a generous donation from a longtime viewer. As you may know, I play this game completely free to play, so I only get mech packs through contributions like this. So thank you for keeping this channel and this game alive. To be honest, I was initially skeptical of the Dervish, partly because we have so many IS missile mediums that I thought the mech was not going to stand out. The other thing is, when I first start playing any chassis, the natural thing to do is to play it like mechs that I'm already familiar with. In this case, the Dervish was most directly comparable in terms of the hardpoints and firepower to the Griffin and the Shadowhawk. However, if you play it like these two mechs, you'll quickly realize its hitboxes and hardpoint locations are worse, which really annoyed me at the beginning. On the Griffin and Shadowhawk, you've got awesome arm shields, whereas the Dervish's arms do not fully block shots from the sides. The existing mechs also had cockpit level missile launchers or autocannons, whereas the Dervish hardpoints are mid-torso level at the highest. This makes building for and playing the Dervish a little tricky. On one hand, in order to make the Dervish builds distinct from the Griffin or Shadowhawk, you must use its hardpoint advantage and pack on more weapons, which requires an XL engine. On the other hand, its bad hitboxes means that the STs are not as well shielded, making XL engines more risky. In effect, this means you cannot play the Dervish like the existing IS-55 Tunners and be more of a fire support mech that engages near max SRM range or further out using MRMs. After adopting a more cautious playstyle, I was able to get the Dervish to work and I started really liking the chassis, despite not really being a fan of missile mediums. In fact, the 6M is pretty competitive with the Quickdraw IV-4 for its MRMs, and the Frenzy Hero is among the best IS mediums for SRM support. If you're a more aggressive player, this mech is not really for you and you'd be better off with a Griffin. As I alluded to, I think the 6M and Frenzy are the two variants that stand out the most. I will not demo the Frenzy in this video, but you'll see this SRM-40 loadout relatively frequently. Sure, the hardpoint locations kind of suck, and it's on the hot side, but it makes up for it with an 86 point alpha and excellent agility stats. This means that it can quickly relocate to good firing positions, and when it is exposed it's able to maximize that brief window of time. I would strongly suggest carrying double cool shots with all cool shot skills if you run this build, but it's still very manageable with a single unskilled cool shot. You can fire off 3 salvos from base heat for up to 258 points of damage before needing to cool. Just don't be the first mech the enemy sees, and this mech will be able to pump out a lot of damage. Because it's somewhat slow and it can't shield very well, the best way to play it is to follow your assaults and heavies and add extra damage after they've taken the first shot. In one of my earlier videos, I mentioned two issues I've had with MRMs. First is the rather slow velocity, and this has been improved by a recent patch. The next issue is the high spread for a mid-range weapon, and this is where the Dervish 6M comes in. With this 10% missile spread quirk and applying the two missile spread nodes, the MRM-40, which is the best individual MRM launcher, has its spread reduced to around the base value of an IS SRM-4 without Artemis. That's pretty good, and for myself, that lower spread is noticeable as I can see fewer missiles miss the target entirely. The fact that the two ST missile hardpoints are packed pretty close to the cockpit makes convergence easier to manage. Again, you do have to use an Excel with this build, so if you play super aggressively, I would still recommend the IV-4. Because you're using an Excel engine and you have to play cautiously, you should take less peaks than with other mechs and you should be making these peaks count. This is why I think the MRM-80 build is better than the MRM-60, but both will work. Finally, I'll mention that there is 1.6 points of heat penalty when you fire two MRM-40s together, but this is dissipated in less than one second of cooling, so it's negligible. Even with the Ghost Heat, your damage per heat on the MRM-80 build is better than the MRM-60. For skills, we're going to need most cooldown and heat gen nodes, the two missile spread and missile rack nodes on the firepower tree, most of survival and all cool run nodes. Okay, let's get to a demo. Okay, in this match we're on Caustic Valley. Uh, Caustic Valley is a short range to mid range map which really works well for the MRMs. Um, so MRMs can be used as short range, like kind of like big SRM launchers and um, sort of used as mid range weapons, although they aren't that great as mid range weapons. Uh, but they're serviceable. So at that point I, you know, I saw a crab there, just took, just took a shot. Uh, even though the crab isn't that a 
the most isn't the most ideal target because it's not it doesn't have a lot of surface area from the front. I still took a shot there anyways. Uh, I did miss these two guys over at Delta Six. Um, I should have seen them. They're kind of in my peripheral vision, but I didn't kind of pay attention at the beginning. Uh, so there's a stealth Sonatos there and um, and a Fafnir. So hopefully the guys at F5 will take care of it. But right now what we're gonna do is. Uh, take uh, take shots at the guys at Delta 5, the Stalker and uh, his friends over there. The one thing to have to pay attention to when you use the Dervish is to push the um, the missile bay door bu button in the beginning. Just if you leave them closed, there's a delay between your firing your mouse click and like the missiles actually going out so that can be really annoying so just make sure you open those bay doors right at the beginning so the Athanatos there even though he's only carrying dual like us it, it is quite annoying so we have to like and if you just leave him alone do don't do anything about it it's capable of putting out enough damage uh, throughout the match so it's best to just kind of like, just to take care of it uh, as soon as you can. Um, Thanatos, stealth Thanatoses are actually quite easy targets to kill. Um, but the problem is a lot of people ignore them and they just go to town for the rest of the match. Uh, that can be a problem. So just kill these uh, just kill these guys as soon as you see them, if you can, if it's safe for you to do so. So I was thinking this is not a really good position. My CT is open right now. Um, and that's what happens when you play a little too aggressively. Like I was up front a little bit too much. Uh, a little bit too far ahead um, of where I should be, I think. And that's why I got my CT opened. So just don't do that. Try to try to play it safe. Uh, so for the rest of the match, I played a lot more cautiously, as you see. Like I'm not trying to push up too far ahead. I know there's teammates in the back that will protect my back, um, so I'm not too worried about the back here. I just want to make sure that in the front I am not going to be the focus of enemy fire. So you can see like if I'm heating up then I'll fire the two MRMs separately but in general you can like when you're at like below 50% heat just go and fire uh, just go alpha the two MRM 40s together it's fine. So as you, if you might have seen earlier that I did see a blip moving to the right side of the rock so I'm, I didn't go and chase that blip right I, I went and like backed off and waited for the mech to show up. He did shoot me at first, but I got friendlies to to help draw additional fire. So I have a pretty good lead here, 8-4. And since my CT is open, I do want to make sure I don't uh, overheat and cook myself. I just need to kill like the last two guys over here. So jump jetting Warhammer. We're almost out of ammo as you can see. Uh, the ammo is a little low, but I mean if you're hitting 50% of your shots, that's still like a thousand damage. So it's fine. Like. If you're really short, low on ammo, um, you can take off like a jump jet for like a half ton of ammo. Then you'd jump, you'd pop tart a little bit worse, but it's okay if, if you need that additional half ton of ammo. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the demo of the Dervish 6M. If you like MRMs or Borderline are liking them, I suggest giving this a try at some point. As always, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more MWO content, and I hope to see you again soon.